Hey everyone, second season of No Guns Life gets into bigger cases, especially involving the three main characters and their past. However, it's rather slow, with plenty of monologues, expositions, and flashbacks. And while it does deliver some decent action, it's mostly in short bursts, so this season feels kinda rigid, and less girls in skimpy outfit, which is a bummer. The season continues right as we left off. It is a major development or conspiracy, and at the start, it really feels like it would get into high gear. But after the first few episodes, the pace just drags for a while. There are a lot of dialogues discussing ideology or the past, which has some good and bad points. It sheds light on Juso and Mary, which are the main and arguably the better member of the cast. We didn't get much on the first season, especially on Juso, as he tries to be mysterious, noir detective all the time, complete with the cigar and jazz song in the background. It's nice to get more development on the protagonist. Same case with Mary, who is my favorite from the first season. Honestly, both of their backstories are not anything novel, and the delivery can be convoluted. Her brother Victor is involved in shady experiment, and he must go into hiding. That's the gist of it, but No Guns Life drags this for a few episodes, setting up complicated sci-fi tech and again more conspiracy. I get the need for world building, but the pacing just doesn't flow. It feels a bit formulaic and at worst kinda bland. The guests would come across some information, and convenient plot device would just pop up, and then some character would deliver a lengthy exposition. It would repeat the cycle for basically the entire second season. At later point, it happens with Tetsuro, as he has revelation about his past and unique power, in addition to philosophical exchange about war and technology. This becomes more of a slow burn thriller, which isn't bad per se, but I think the first season has more diversity. Another thing I miss from season 1 is the exploration of the world. I like when Noga's life shows different corners of this corrupt city, even if it's brief or merely in passing for a few minutes. Second season has less scenery, maybe only two or three major set pieces, one for each story arc. It's unfortunate. I would like to see a more interesting location than the Yasuo apartments. Maybe you saw taking a case on exotic place. Still, it has pretty good action scenes, sprinkled throughout the episodes. You can see some of the scenes right now. They're flashy but in short bursts. That's because copyright issue if I pause long scenes but also because that's just how the series presents them. The accent doesn't really go into long drawn out sequences, usually the fight would end in a few big moves, which is completely fine. The visual have all sorts of dramatic poses and hard hitting scenes. It also implements more CG in second season, as shown on the ending theme. Some of these CG are pretty good, because they fit the series over the top machine aesthetic but sometimes it can look a bit stiff. Most notable example is actually from simple motion, like when a character opens a door. It looks weightless, like it floats away from a simple touch. This happens often when the anime tries to blend CG into the animation. It doesn't mean the visual is bad. On contrary, if you make screenshot of No Guns Life, it would most likely look very good. The way you saw lights a cigar and it's reflected on his metallic skin, or how the smoke flutters around him, shows that the studio knows how to make a dramatic shot. It's also capable of using contrast and shadow to get that sweet yet rough noir appearance. The series plays to its strength, using a lot of brief and impactful scenes, while trying to keep the complex motion to minimum. I think the second season is going with the right direction, story-wise. But at the same time, it also hammers down on the theme of past regret. It only has three major story arcs. A lot of time is spent on this same narrative, which boils down to self-acceptance. But it goes through a lot of technical and philosophical stuff to get there. I enjoy when in season 1, Juso went into various places and meeting more people to solve the cases. It might not look like much, but I appreciate the series showing different aspects of the world. Season 2 has taken some steps into the right direction, 
but honestly, some steps backwards as well. So it kinda stays the same. I would give it 7 out of 10. There are other titles with overall better production or more compelling narrative. But No Guns Life is still a good sci-fi. If you like Detective Story and Season 1, you will most likely enjoy Season 2. And that's it, thank you for watching. Please leave a like and comment. Consider subscribing and share with your friends. I make 3 videos every week. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one.